So hey guys, we have our new P7 here, taking a bigger approach from the P5 and the P3, of course, is what you've seen from us here at Thermaltake. Now the P7 offers a little bit of a difference with the motherboard tray turned vertical, so the GPUs are mounted vertically there on the case. And then of course, you can see our expansion sides that we offered here, now allowing a P-series case that's compatible to supporting a dual loop solution. So the P7 case here, going bigger with our P-series to offer more options for our users. So right here, we got an interesting Core P3. Now this Core P3 here is supporting a different type of cooling solution. If you guys can see right here, there's a new type of design. Now this is something that we're experimenting with, you know, kind of throwing this out here to see what people think as far as offering something like a phase change cooling. I mean, this is a new design offering where a liquid will go into your CPU and GPU to cool and then turn into a gas, then going back in through the phase chamber back here with absolutely no fans, full induction cooling, and then be able to return back to a liquid and then go right back in, completing the cycle. And the best part about this is that there's no degradation and this can last like 40 years from what they're telling us. So something very interesting and something brand new to try to you know stretch the limits for cooling going to a phase change solution. So stay tuned here as we'll be having more information about this later this year. Hey guys, so we got our new P1 here. I know you guys have seen our Core P5 and our Core P3. Well, we're taking the next step to go down with a new Core P1 offering a mini ITX flavor. Now this also supports up either to a 120 or a 240 millimeter radiator. Of course it supports AIO and DIY custom liquid cooling and tempered glass. So we're giving a good tempered glass treatment here and you'll be expecting this at about $99.99 MSRP and it should be available later here earlier this year.